have returned. Alright, let's go over movement. So, normal walking speed is 320. You can see if you hold any key. Um, however, if you walk forward and add a strafe key and move your mouse in that direction, you can see that you can get up to like 450, maybe 460, if you're good enough. And it's one set speed, so you basically just have to get a feel for the speed. So, what happens when you do this? Oh my god. What happens when you do this and you jump? Oh my god, you get to keep all your speed. Right? So basically, circle strafe on the ground until you're at like 450, and then just jump and you'll keep all your speed. So you're not going to be able to clear all of these because in the air you're going to need to strafe jump to gain speed. You can do that one maybe. And maybe this one too. But once you get here, you're not going to be able to do it with just by doing the bare circle jump. To gain speed in the air, you're going to have to strafe jump. Basically, if you're jumping in the air, you'll keep all your speed, right? Uh, provided you buff your jump. If you add a strafe key and move your mouse slowly in that direction, you'll start to gain speed. So I'm pressing W and D and moving my mouse slowly to the right. And you'll see that the faster that I'm going, the more my direction will deviate from, this, from the center. So I start out at the center and because I'm going faster and I'm moving my mouse smoothly to the left, my vector will deviate from the center. So this is when you learn how to change directions. So let's say we want to go this way. We have a theoretical center line over here. And you know we've deviated from that because we're going faster. So to switch directions, you have to remember how far your mouse is away from the center and then switch to that far distance like on the other side immediately. So remember where your center line is and how far your mouse pointer or how far your crosshair is from that distance and snap to the other side like immediately. So I'm here, I want to change direction, it's short, but as I go faster, I'm going to have to do a bigger flake. Okay, so to do your circle jump now, you're going to want to circle strafe on the ground and then strafe after. So you still hold down your W and your strafe key, but just move your mouse slowly in the air. It's faster on the ground to circle strafe, but it's, it's, it's a slow movement in the air. So to circle jump, start by holding W until you accelerate to 320 walking speed, and then add your strafe key in and jump. Jump when your speed is the highest, like 450 if you can. And then just strafe jump in the air. So strafe jumping is actually slightly more complicated than how I explained it before. Basically, as you strafe in one direction, your center line will actually move in that direction very slowly. So let's say my center line is there, that's where I want to go, and I only strafe left. As I do this, um, let's say my cursor is here and I was at like, what, 600 EPS? My center line actually moves like kind of over here. So if your cursor is here and the center line is here, to switch directions, you're going to have to remember this distance and snap to that distance on the right. So the more I strafe in one direction, the less I'm going to have to snap to the other direction. See, this is only like slightly where to the right of where we originally wanted to go. But if you only change directions like every other jump or so, you won't have to, uh, your center line won't move as much. So I hope this video helps a little bit because I see a lot of noob circle jumping or straight jumping wrong. Maybe because someone showed them how to do it and, you know, they're replicating it incorrectly. Uh, I hope this video maybe helps you understand why circle jumping and strafe jumping work the way they do. So maybe now you can practice them with the correct technique.